What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel Aftersound here bringing you Splinterlands content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is Aftersound. So come by and say hello. Okay, so let's talk about Terra Block. Now, this is the new bridge that will allow you to transfer your assets, specifically SPS and DEC, from the Hive blockchain within Splinterlands out into one of the other chains, primarily Ethereum or Binance, BSC, Binance Smart Chain. So with these, you now have a couple of things to consider. You will have not only a fee of 0.5%, but you will also have to pay gas fees. So here is the thing, and I, I wanna be very clear on this. I came in about six months ago at the end of August, or a little over six months ago, and at that point, uh, you know, for me, I am using the Binance Smart Chain to get in and out of this game and transfer assets in and out of the game. So once I was doing that, uh, or when I was doing it at that point, if I wanted to pull assets out of the game, I would pay the gas fee, right? And on Binance Smart Chain, as opposed to Ethereum, it was much, much cheaper. And at that point, there actually wasn't even Ethereum available to withdraw to. At least I'm not I'm not sure if that was the case. I, I didn't even bother checking if Ethereum was there because, like I said, Binance Smart Chain or BSC uh, has much lower fees and much quicker speeds. So uh, with that being said, that was the case for the first couple of weeks, maybe the first couple of months that I was here. At a certain point, the team actually started uh, paying for those gas fees. And when, what I would do is I would manual or transfer transfer it out. It didn't go through. I wouldn't have to sign off in like my external wallet, like MetaMask or whatever you use to connect. But it would end up in my MetaMask wallet. And, uh, and so I actually got confused for a second because I thought I'd lost a bunch of DEC. But when I spoke to somebody in support, they told me that um, they told me that the team or Splinterlands, I should say, was paying for the fee. So I was no longer paying the gas fees, which was kind of nice. So for the last couple of months, we have been somewhat spoiled in a sense. And I want to make sure to call that out because this is a fee that was not being charged to us, right? The gas fee. So here we are now, and we have the TerraBlock Bridge. Now, TerraBlock is a company that uh, specializes in this. And so essentially what the team is doing, what Splinterlands is doing is outsourcing their, you know, ex external, um, you know, external bridges to this other company. And so TerraBlock also, uh, just to highlight, is one of the companies uh, or was a connection for them with one of the private investors that got involved early on. So there are some benefits in terms of the types of connections. So that being said, I want to talk about this TerraBlock thing because as somebody who uses BSC, and I'm sure for others who use Binance Smart Chain, it's, it's a little rough. Um, it's a little rough to go from paying absolutely nothing to now paying two separate fees. Now, let me go ahead and break this down for you. Let's go ahead and take a look. So whether you're doing uh, uh, DEC or SPS and whether it's going to Binance or Ethereum, to BSC or Ethereum, here are the basics, right? So for BSC, you have a DEC minimum of 500. So you can only withdraw once you have 500 or more. With SPS, you can only withdraw once you have 25 or more. Uh, this is quite a bit more when you're looking at Ethereum, and I'm assuming that is because of the gas fees. So for DEC, you can only withdraw if you have 30,000 DEC, whereas with SPS, uh, you need 1,000 SPS. So Ethereum as it is, is already, you know, it's, it's for those who can afford to pay the fees and want to deal with that. I'm not one of those folks. That's why I kind of uh, came over to BSC and have been using BSC. But the thing is, on top of these minimums is a fee that is brand new. And this is going to be the 0.5% fee for all bridge transfers, and it's going to be paid to TerraBlock. Now, this is in addition, see it says plus here, plus the gas fees necessary to transfer the tokens on the Ethereum or BSC blockchains. So now we are going from paying absolutely nothing to paying these two fees. Now, I get it. The team is trying to outsource. They want to free up developers. They want to free up uh, team members. I get it. But 
0.5% fee, it's almost like I would rather go back to the old system. And uh, and I don't know if that would require the team to be as involved as they were recently. But if we could go back to the old system where I just pay whatever the gas fee is to move my assets off, that would be awesome because then I could avoid paying the 0.5% fee. Now, here's the thing. With Hive... One of the benefits of Hive, and I'm trying to be very objective with this, even though I don't want, even though I don't want to pay the fee. With Hive, you don't pay any fees for transactions, moving assets, or uh, you know swaps, for example. Well, actually, no. Now we do pay small fees on swaps, but you don't pay any fees on Hive Engine for a lot of the transactions that you make. So, doing all of that, being able to go fee free, is pretty nice. And so I guess maybe I can rationalize, well, maybe when I withdraw my assets from the game, that 0.5% fee is somewhat warranted, or at least it's not as terrible as I'd like to think it is, just due to the fact that I was able to go fee-free for most for the most part while playing the game and, uh, you know, obviously transacting with assets within the game. And there's a lot of assets, too, keep in mind, right? It's it's not just SPS and DEC. There's vouchers now. There's being able to send your your uh, NFTs, so or, you know, buying and selling your NFTs, although actually there is a fee there. So that I wouldn't say that that is necessarily uh, comparable to this, although, although here we are, and I'm talking about multiple fees. So a lot of this is going to eat into everyone's everyone's earnings, and I can already see it eating into mine, for example, right? Because look at this: for for every thousand DEC that you uh, you know that you want to pull out, it's going to take five DEC out of that, right? Just just for the fee. This is not counting the gas fee. This is for the bridge fee. So speaking honestly with you, I'm not happy with the move. Um, I I can understand, and I'm trying to be. Uh, I'm trying to be patient with the team to understand and understand that this is probably good from their perspective and this is what they would like to do in order to free up some other resources within the company. And that's fine because I can understand that you know the team is trying to do what's what's in uh, the best interest for freeing up that time. What sucks is though is that this fee or like this <laughs> the cost is being passed down to the players. And again, I, I mean I'm just I'm just being real with you. It's not it's not my favorite move in the world. In fact, I'm, I can understand it, but I'm not a fan of it, if that makes sense. So I don't know if there will be anything else added into this. Of course, it's going to be uh, it's it's going to continue to operate the existing bridge system for a minimum of 30 days after TerraBlock goes live. But I already checked, and TerraBlock is live at this point. So once you go through, uh, it is a different withdrawal process. So I'll be looking for. You know, one of the things that I'm going to do a little more research on is what is maybe the easiest or fastest way, sorry, not easiest, but what is the easiest but also cheapest way if there are now cheaper ways of withdrawing value from the game. And here's the thing, right? Like I, before before people call me out in the comments saying like, oh, you're just trying to extract value from the game and suck it dry. And like, no, I mean, I've put a lot into this game and I've and I've continued to put a lot. But at some point, and this is not just me, at some point you want to realize some of those gains, correct? So when you do that, I want to know what the best and cheapest route is. TerraBlock makes things incredibly easy. I'm sure I'm sure there's nothing too crazy about it. And especially if there's going to be a whole uh, whole customer service section available for TerraBlock users or anybody who has issues on uh, while using TerraBlock then you know hopefully that should make things a little bit smoother and it should free up assets on the team uh, or resources on the team so that'll that'll be a good thing for them maybe we'll get land a little bit sooner than expected because of that but overall yeah i mean I, i'm not i'm not a big fan of it but i'm trying to rationalize it by saying that okay at least on hive there are no other fees and let's be real if you wanted to take uh, if you wanted to take assets off of hive you pay end up paying a fee on that end too. Now I don't remember what that is off the top of my head. I think it is either 0.75 or maybe even 1%. So that could be a lot as well. Uh, and obviously more than what we're paying here. So something to keep in mind. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a follow-up video to this where I go through and look at some of the other ways to withdraw from the game or just withdraw from Hive in general. So that's just all I have for you guys in this video. I was asked to to look into this and obviously I was uh, 
uh, once I read this, I was just like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> it sucks. And I, I felt bad about it. But then I also realized that we've been incredibly spoiled and the team has been giving us a service for absolutely free. So to cry about it afterwards, uh, which I hope this video isn't coming off crying about it. Um, but, you know, to, to cry about it afterwards feels a little disingenuous. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I guess what I'm trying to figure out now is, OK, well, how, you know, how can how can we as players and as earners, right? So play to earn, how can we maximize the gains that we're making? See, we're putting our time, energy, and money into this. And when we do want to cash out, whether that's whether that's for like a family emergency or medical emergency or just to buy some ice cream, whatever the case is, right? We're playing and we're putting this time in. And what makes play to earn so much better than every other game model out there is the fact that you get rewarded for your time in actual value. You own your assets. And so if you wanted to check out and if you want to leave or whatever the case is, you will still be able to get that value. Now, the only thing is you're going to have to pay some fees to do it. So that is all I have for you in this video. would love to hear your thoughts and where the general community sentiment is. I know there's been some chatter about it in the, uh, in the Discord, but would love to hear what the community here is thinking about it. Uh, the last thing, and I totally forgot because I don't even use these, but they're closing the Steam Engine and Tron bridges. I want to know if you're using Tron or Steam, let me know because I just, I don't know anybody who's using those. Uh, they, they seem like, well, at least Tron seems like a ghost chain. Uh, Steam, I, I never had any interaction with because I came to the game after the fork. So, all right, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next video and I will see you around the game. Take care.